Hey guys, MTash here, and uh, forgive me, this video might be a little bit janky, I'm recording from a hotel room, but I wanted to show you this because I think it's very important and I think it's very exciting. Destiny 2 seems to be getting a lot more in-depth with some of the stats and some of the mods that you're going to be able to get on your armor. Now, from doing the Flashpoint, I was able to get a, apparently, a Forsaken item, the Scatterhorn Wraps. It's got the little Forsaken emblem there. And uh, the nice thing about this thing, and what's got me really hyped up, is the mods on it are actually pretty cool. Back in the day, we had really basic stuff. You can get 10% cooldown on your melee, or your rift, or your grenade, or whatever it might be. But it looks like some of the mods that are coming in Forsaken are a lot more in-depth, and you can kind of build your character with a particular playstyle, or, uh, you know, boost the things that you want to boost, depending on the drops. This is one small indicator on the future. This is one arm piece. I have no idea what all the mods are, but this has me excited. Let's say you like to use fusion rifles. Well, you can get bonus ammo when you pick it up. Maybe you like a grenade launcher. You can do the same thing. And so depending on what weapons you're using, you can have different arm pieces that are going to help you out with your ammo supplies. But then I move over here and I look at the other mod available. And this has me absolutely jacked. Things like Fastball, which was one of the best overall perks that you could get in Destiny 1 because it allowed you to whip your grenade even further, and it also increases the speed that you throw things kind of close range. Fastball was a, a kind of go-to perk for a lot of people, and knowing that arm pieces or helmets or whatever it might be can have these awesome mods that are, in my opinion, game-changing to the way you play, has me pretty pumped up. Now there's another one on here with impact induction which when you cause damage with a melee attack it reduces the cooldown on your grenade. That's pretty badass as well. Maybe you want to run and gun with Devour Voidwalker and punch the shit out of stuff and continue to get your grenades? Well, you can do that. It honestly looks that even with legendary gear you can start building your character, actually have some sort of build kind of get some cohesion in your character and I don't know I'm just jacked up I'm really excited to top it off you can throw in some of these mods I don't know exactly what you can throw in here I don't know if there's more that I simply don't have unlocked yet we're gonna know more going into Forsaken but if this is any sort of indicator on what's to come armor is actually going to matter for once. Instead of just worrying about, oh, does it have good uh, mobility or recovery? You're actually going to want to look at the perks and hopefully get something that's going to make your loadout a little bit stronger. That's pretty much it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to close out the recording, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.